Well, happily ever afters happen all the time in fairy tales, but one expert believes that buying into this idea is detrimental to couples. Relationship coach and best-selling author Dr Dane here says there are five habits you need to quit in order to stay rock solid with your partner. And to tell us exactly how we can do that, Dr. Dane here joins us live at the desk. Dr. Dane, nice to speak to you this afternoon. And you, thank you. Five habits that you say could be ruining our relationship, what are they? No number one, living in the fairy tale. Number two, putting your relationship on autopilot. Number three, comparing yourself to others. Number four is when you give up things you love and care about. And number five is when you give up people you love and care about. Okay, so let's start with number one then, buying into this idea of a fairy tale. Yes. Why is that bad? Well, because Prince Charming and Cinderella don't actually exist. <laughs> and the difficulty is a lot of us have been looking for them. So what it does, it sets up this idea, this ideal of perfection, that we expect ourselves and our partner and our relationship to hold up to, that it actually can't. And so we're in a constant state of judgment of us and our partner for not living up to this. You know, and if you look at Facebook and, you know, all the social media postings, it's like, once again, the fairy tale is posted there too. Mm. And then we judge ourselves accordingly. So yeah. It sort of highlights real. Yes, it's exactly. Not real. It's, it is not real, yeah. exactly. Uh, bad habit number two, putting your relationship on autopilot. Yes. Talk us through this one. Well, what happens is what most people do when they've been together any length of time is their relationship sort of just becomes background noise to their life. They're no longer really involved in creating it and it's seen as more of an obligation than it is a possibility and where you're together with somebody looking to create something brilliant. And so there are a few ways of going beyond that. And the first is to make the choice to actively engage in your relationship again. Simplest way to do that is every morning when you wake up you go, okay, I'm choosing to be here. Which also lets you know you could choose not to be there. And in so doing, what you realize is, wow, I'm actually making the choice to be in this relationship. If I'm choosing to be here, I might as well enjoy it and I might as well create it. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing you want to do is bring a little excitement back to the relationship. You know, call your partner one at some point. Go, hey, you want to come have a quickie at lunch? Uh, or maybe do something exciting like skydiving or make it a plan to at least once a week do something fun and exciting. Something that gets your adrenaline pumping, something that brings you together and something that we're, it's no longer where we're here together but we, we're not enjoying our lives but we're, we're here together and we're creating our lives together. Okay, something spontaneous. Yes, exactly. Um, now the idea of comparing ourselves, you said this is bad, why is comparing ourselves to other couples for instance a bad idea? Because the only thing we ever do when we compare is we end up judging us and then we judge our partner and then we judge our relationship and then we judge more. <laughs> And so, and once again, you know, we see this all around the world, you know, social media postings and that sort of thing. And we look at what other people are having, you know, and when they post their, we don't realize that when they post pictures of their vacation, they didn't post about the argument they had right before they took those pictures or the kid throwing up in the back seat or, so we're comparing ourselves to this unrealistic version of what is and we can't help to go anywhere else but judge us mm. yeah. as not living up. <clears throat> There's a lot mm. of that going on, isn't there? Uh, yeah. You also think that by giving up the things that we enjoy doing when we're we're single is detrimental to our relationship. Explain that one. Well, I can't tell you the number of people I've worked with where somebody gave up salsa dancing and somebody gave up skydiving and hanging with their friends because wanted their partner to know that they loved them. And what ends up happening is those things that you had were a source of energy for you. They were a source of happiness. They were a source of joy. And that's part of what your partner was attracted to in the first place. And when you give those up, it's no wonder we stop being attracted to each other but also you stop enjoying yourself and your life as much. Mm. Good stuff, Dr. Yep. Zane. Great advice. All the best. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Straight ahead.